Yeah, so first of all, there are different types of BRAF alterations uh, that can cause melanoma. So there are mutations, most of them occur in exon 15 of BRAF, and the most frequently mutated codon is 600, and the most frequent prevalent mutation is V600E. That can actually arise through two types of nucleotide changes, a single and a dinucleotide change, and those account for about 70% of all V600E mutation, uh, of, of all V600 mutations. And so there are additional substitution. V600K is the most frequent, but there are even others that are clearly pathogenic and cause melanoma. And then there are mutations in the immediate vicinity of V600, 601, 597. And, uh, and so then on top of these mutations that, that can activate BRAF, there are um, genetic rearrangements of the BRAF gene where there are actually no mutations, but the, the BRAF kinase domain is put uh, behind some other gene. So those, and, and so now depending on which BRAF alteration one would like to pick up, one has to, to uh, pick the right tests. The currently FDA approved tests, uh, like the COBAS and uh, the Biomerio test, really are very distinctly focusing on V600. And, and the COBAS has uh, a low sensitivity for non-V600E mutations and also the V600E mutations that are caused by dinucleotide uh, mutations. And so uh, in the literature, the, the sensitivity for picking up mutations of V600 are about 80%. So the answer is if the test is actually negative, and uh, there is clearly a rationale for using another test to really make sure that there is no actionable BRAF mutation. Now, if one, the, the Biomerio test uh, is, is more sensitive in terms of also better detecting V600K, uh, but it, it will also miss any of the other mutations, and specifically none of these tests will detect any of the uh, rearrangements, structural rearrangements or BRAF fusions. So, uh, in my view, um, in particular if the, the, the uh, result is negative, it's uh, important to consider those technical limitations of the assay and consider other, technical, uh, uh, other uh, tests to, to really confirm that the patient is, is negative. Um, the, the probability of that a melanoma is driven by a BRAF mutation is actually highly dependent on where the melanoma arose on the body. Uh, and, and so the uh, cutaneous melanomas that arise on the sun-exposed skin, particularly those in younger individuals, younger than 55, have a very high probability of having BRAF V600E mutations. About 60% of those patients have these mutations. The probability is zero if the melanoma originated in, in the interior of the eye. So there having a, re, a negative test result would not cause concern. And I think the test shouldn't even be ordered for patients with uveal melanoma. Uh, and so there's a, another, uh, um, uh, so, so the, the site of origin determines the pretest probability and uh, how concerned one should be about a negative result.